Some dead plants. They're in good company. A table and chair. I know about Heather, Jay. I know about Heather, Jay. Front door. It's a front door. No point in leaving that way. I can only. Um. No results found. Ruth found a ghost in the room on the roof tag of George's apartments. Seems to live. Oh, actually, shouldn't I, like, look for. Shouldn't I look for. Penthouse apartment for sale? Or, like. Because there, there, there can't be that many penthouses, right? What is the name of the place we're in right now? Um, what is the address? George? What's, his, what's George's name? Uh, what is George's name? Crap. Well, let me just talk to her again first, just to double check. Hi there. Hello again, mister. What brings you by? So, about this place. I might not have the highbrow taste that George has, but my furniture is just as serviceable as his. And twice as comfortable, I might add. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, it's really important that you tell me who you are. What on earth could be so important? It's... complicated. No. No, I don't think so. I'm enjoying this way too much. Well... Say I... Okay, um... Got a sec? What is it this... The name is... Well, I mean, George Austin. Hold on. So we go... George Austin. Oh, crap. What is the name of this place? What is the name of this building? Hi. Yes, miss? Do you know who lived in the apartment? I'm afraid not. I only started working. Did George know a priest named Michael Cooper? I'm afraid I don't know. There are tons of case files. Did George- Grace- It might. Hmm. I know we often went to- Sorry. I... Don't... Wait a minute, she says twice as comfortable, so has she- she's been inside. Yep, just old- Does that mean she's been inside George's apartment, if she says- I think they might be ca- If she says that the furniture is twice as comfortable? Is that a genuine- No, it- Bok choy, garam masala, quinoa, branzino. It's either a shopping list- the pedal up. It's empty. That'd look amazing on my bathroom. Darling, that thing's big. I don't understand what. I, uh, huh. I don't know. Huh, you have returned. Yeah, I have. I don't know 
what to do. You'd think there's not that many things Madeline? we can't He's do. There's a ghost haunt. I see. Well, of course. Hey, J What is it this- Michael has got to know more than he's telling us. Maybe we should keep talking to him. He's bound to spill something. Oh, serious? We have to keep talking to Michael? Father Michael? Yeah? I can't believe there's another medium in New York. Medium? Sorry, I mean bestower. I've been calling myself medium for so long I sometimes forget. Uh-huh. I mean, it's not like I have anyone to talk to about this stuff. Well, nobody living anyway. Hey, look, I'd love to swap ghost stories with you, but it takes all my concentration to maintain the circle. Right, sorry. Maybe we'll have coffee later? You know, after we save your soul and everything. Sure, sounds great. What is this circle? Oh, this. Madeline taught me how to do it. She did it what? prevents anything spiritual from getting to me. It takes some concentration to maintain, so I'm sorry if I seem a bit inhospitable. She... How did you learn what was happening? What, you, you mean that our souls were being taken? Yeah. I... It was a few weeks ago. I was at the bedside of a friend. Jeffrey, his name was. He went to the Grace Group meetings back in the day. Like me. He had been in a car accident. Hit and run. He was dying, and he wanted me there. And when he died, I saw it. His spirit being torn apart. He screamed. I'll never forget that scream. I know. I saw it too. Anyway, with Madeline's help, I began looking into other members of the group, and learned it was happening to all of us. You know the rest. So you're working with Madeline? Working? I guess you could call it that. I've been too busy being scared to give it any serious thought. So why'd you send Madeline outside? Her presence disturbs my concentration, so she's keeping as far away as she can until this is resolved. What about us? You're the ones who are going to save my hide. For you, I'll make the extra effort to focus. Did you know that there's a ghost across the roof from George's apartment? Really? Do you know anything about it? Sadly, no. I'm sorry. Alright. What about yourself? Is there anything we should know? Look, you're not exactly catching me at my best here. I can't do anything. I'm not a true bestower like you are. Madeline says she's been weakened, or I've been weakened, or something. She doesn't know. Believe me, if I could do what you can do, I'd be out there trying to stop this. But I can't. So all I can do is hide. She has. He has more to say than I expected. I thought we were done with him. I don't know why. What well, didn't it look like we were done with him? Anyway. Could you tell me about the Grace Group? It was some kind of self-help group? <sighs> about 20 years ago, I was a very different person. I suppose you could call me an alcoholic, although I wouldn't have said it at the time. Then I saw an ad in the newspaper. It promised to help folks like me find their way. It seemed to be some kind of hippie self-help group, but I went to a meeting anyway. I don't remember much about the meetings, but somehow... I had discovered that going to seminary school was something I had to do. It all made sense. Made sense? I just knew it was what I was meant to be doing. And I was right. Huh. Is there anything else you could tell us about the Grace Group? No. You know everything I do. Anything else? No, I just... There are tons of... Did you know... Really? Do you know... What happened at these meetings? That's just it. I don't remember. Until recently, I never questioned it before. How messed up is that? I'd go, I'd sit down and leave. I'd meet with the other members for coffee afterward. What on earth did we talk about? We must have found something. But I do remember a man. Benjiro. He ran the meetings. Benjiro? Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. Benjiro. How many people went to these meetings? There were six of us. You already know about Leah and George and myself. The others are dead. Who were they? Does it matter? They are dead. Their souls were taken. Even still, tell me. <sighs> Jeffrey Dutta, Heather Goffstein, Peter Fielding. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, that's un unexpected. So the man who ran the Grace Group meetings was named Benjiro? Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. Could you tell me about Jeffrey? 
God, Jeffrey Dutta. Talk about transfiguration. When he walked into that Grace Group meeting, I thought he was in the wrong place. I mean, the guy was a Wall Street broker for crying out loud. He could have bought the church and everything in it. But he later confessed that he tried to kill himself. Twice. So what happened to him? He became a professional dog walker. Can you believe it? He used to pocket millions a year, plus bonuses. Then he was picking up dog crap for $25 an hour and smiling about it. He was hit by a car crossing the street. A hit and run. I was at his bedside when he died. Madeline had been around for about a month at that point, so I saw his spirit rise from his body. I thought I was supposed to help him, but instead I... You know what happened next. Could you tell me about Peter? Peter Fielding, yes. I never had much contact with him. He died several months ago. I'm afraid it's too late for him. You saw his soul being taken? Well, no. He died before Madeline came into my life, so I can't say for sure. But he went to Grace Group meetings, and he's dead. What other conclusion can I reach? Oh, Heather. Tell me about Heather Goffstein. You said she was a member of your group. Yes, she was one of us. I asked George if he knew where she was. He told me she was dead. I'm afraid it's too late for her. Is this like Peter? Did you actually see her soul being taken? No, I didn't. Thank heaven I didn't. Seeing it happen once is more than I can take. We know about Heather, Jay. Well, there's one Jay there and there's one Heather there, so... Alright. How exactly did Peter Fielding die? Why? Are you going to try and find his spirit? There is no spirit! It's gone! You said it yourself. You don't know for sure. <sighs> it was some kind of accident. I'm not sure of the details. I read about his death in the obituaries. Too late for his funeral, sadly, but I said a prayer for him. How did Heather Goffstein die? I'm afraid I don't know. George was the one who kept in touch with her. He told me she died, but he didn't tell me how or when. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Can you tell me again how Peter Fielding died? I told you before. Just you. It was some kind. I read about his. Can you? I'm George. With I. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. So you don't. Not as such. So. Not. As... Is there anything? No. So the. Yeah. Japanese. Did you know? Really? Do you know? Sad. Okay. Well, it's uh the roof ghost is Heather. All right, Mike. Of course. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores. Well, that was interesting. I mean, there's a lot of stuff there. I don't think those are connected in any way. Are you sure? All right, let's go. Benjiro, nothing. Jeffrey Dutta, J E F F R A Y D Dutta. Uh, Peter Fielding. So Peter Fielding owned a gym in Murray Hill. Worth a visit, I suppose. Oh, great. Peter Fielding, 58, passed away last night after suffering a fatal accident. Peter was a self-described health nut and personal trainer whose facility, Fields Gym, was well, well loved by many in the Murray Hill neighborhood. He will be missed. Okay. Heather Goffstein, G O F F Stein. Go Goff Steen? Did I spell that right? Yeah, okay. Well, only one thing to. Well, let me just talk to him, Madeline. Madeline? Yes, Blackwell. Shield. Ah, oh, can you tell me how to do the shield thing? Is there anything else you'd sadly know? Michael said that a man named Benjiro ran the Grace Group meetings. My host has said as much to me, yes. Sadly, he does not remember much about him. Could you tell me about Jeffrey? I'm afraid not. Do you know anything about Peter Fielding? He was in the Grace Group with Michael. I have never met him. He passed away before I became bonded with my host. Michael believes his soul was already taken. He might be right, but he may not be. If his spirit still exists, you are the ones to find it. 
Of course, we do all the work. Do you know anything about Heather Goffstein? She was in the Grace Group with Michael. I know of her, but I have never met her. She passed away before my host and I became bonded. I never encountered her spirit. Michael believes her soul was already taken. It is certainly possible, but I refuse to lose hope until I see the evidence. All right. Well, I suppose we'll talk to you soon. Of course. Let me go talk to the police because, you know, human beings before uh, spirits. Let's see if we, we've got anything on these names. Officer Palm. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find someone named Benjiro. He ran some kind of self-help circle called the Grace Group. Hmm. Let's see. No. Nothing. Do you have a record of a Jeffrey Dutta? He Let's see. Yep. Hit and run, like you said. Technically, the case is open, but nobody has any hopes that it will be solved. All right. Can you tell me anything about the death? Okay. Let's see. Yep, here he is. Peter Fielding, age 54, owned a fitness center in Murray Hill called Fields Gym. He fell off a ladder while fixing a light bulb in the locker room. Hit his head on the bench and bled to death. Nobody found him for several hours. An ambulance was called and pronounced him dead at the scene. Nothing more than that? That's pretty open and shut. Accidental death. Unless somebody pushed him. Do you have any record of a Heather Goffstein? Let me check. Nope, nothing on Heather Goffstein. Sorry. Right. Cool story. Well, I better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Okay, I mean, that's slightly helpful. Alright, Fields Gym. Oh, it's open. Amazing. Isn't the person Looks dead? nice and warm in there. Of course, so would an ice factory right now. Uh... It says members only. Ah, uh, nuts. It seems to open with a key card. It's a key card reader. Looks like it unlocks the door. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> Alright, go in, Joey. Joey's a member. Joey, run on the treadmill. I love the idea, but I'm not really a hands on kind of guy. Alright. What is that? That's yoga? And you're running in front of yoga? What's going on? TV showing some energetic broad and yoga pants. No barriers. Looks like some kind of headshot photo. Probably someone famous who uses the gym. Let's see here. Wait. Tanya Corsi. Hey, wait a second. Is that... Yeah, that's the spook from George's roof. That is... What a coincidence. What a coincidence. A calendar with a marker pen attached. January 7? It's a number on the calendar. It's a num- January- January 7? Why is that marked? Looks like that picture frame fell off the wall. I can't touch- Um... That looks like a torture device to me. It is. Run, run, run like a hamster on a wheel. Below the woman. She's sweating so much she didn't even notice. Right. Men's room. 